Okay, good afternoon and welcome back. Today we're going to be tying a juvenile smallmouth bass. We're going to use a lot of these materials that we got at the estate sale the other day. And the hook I have in the vise is from that sale. It's a Mustad 9674 size 4 streamer hook. And what I have a little tungsten, say Mayfly. Swimmer from Orvis, I got uh, years back that they were on clearance for a buck a pack, 15 in a pack. You can't beat that for tungsten. And I got five wraps of O2O lead. I'm going to start with a little super glue, a little dab on the shank of the hook behind the eye. slide everything up forward and secure that lead right into the back of that tungsten head there. It's got a little mouth on the bottom so make sure that points down. The thread I'm using is Danville 210. We'll start that in right in behind the lead. Wrap it back all the way to the bend of the hook. Cutting away the tag end along the way. it all the way back. Once you get to the bend, bring it back forward a couple wraps. Now we're going to tie in some olive marabou. This uh, marabou that he had is from Allegheny Bait and Tackle from that sale. It is actually a darker green. It's almost like a forest green more than an olive color. Take one strand of it, lay it right on the shank of the hook. We're going to go about three quarters of the shank for the tail length. Lay it right on top, give it a wrap, a few wraps backwards to the top of the bend. Go ahead and cut away the excess. Let's see, can I save this one? Oh yeah, I can save this one for another tail. Look at that, perfect. Wrap it in real good. I'm going to give it one wrap up underneath. It helps play that out a little bit, look at that. Here we go. Okay, now we're going to add some crystal flash. The crystal flash that we're going to use is from that estate cell. This is the only one that was in the bins. It's kind of an off-white, maybe a pearlescent. Grab about four strands here, cut them away. I'm going to lay right up against my side. I'm going to give it a wrap. Then I'm going to bend. It over. Give it a couple wraps. Make sure I got them right where I want them here. I'm gonna bend that one up a little more here. All right, I'm gonna cut them the length. There you go. Got a little crystal flash on either side. Now we're going to add a piece of monofilament. Some monofilaments out of my desk that I always keep handy for counter wrapping. Four pound test. Lay it against the side of your hook there. Give it a few wraps. And bend it back over. That way it's nice and secure. Trim away the excess. And wrap it all the way back to the top of the bed of the hook. I'm 
want it to end up on my side. That when you start wrapping, you're not catching any part of the tail. In fact, I need to wrap that back just a little more. There you go. All right, now we're going to tie in some chenille. The chenille was part of the stash. I was cleaning through the box, through the boxes there, and sorting everything out, and I noticed a lot of this, a lot of these materials really match each other to the color of a smallmouth bass. So I'm going to take one, two, three, take four sections because I want to wrap it over a couple times. Problem is when making a big fly like this you use a lot of chenille. Expose a couple of the threads on the end there. Bring it all the way back. Twist that thread up a little bit. Take it right back to where you started that tail at. Take your thread all the way to the front. I'm going to show you why I'm going to take a little extra chenille here. We're going to make sure this body is nice and even as we go up. If it gets a little skinnier, wrap over top of itself. About three wraps and then one wrap back over top of itself. Back over top of itself. I'm going to take us all the way up to behind that head. Nice and tight. And tie it off. Cut away the excess. Couple thread wraps to secure it. Now we're going to add a piece of this hackle. This is a saddle that I found. Everything from a dry fly, maybe so down to a size, I don't know, maybe uh, 16, maybe at the smallest. Right here and as big as a nice streamer. Let's pick a nice feather out here. Right here. Grab this one. See if he wants to play along. Here you go. It's dyed, I'm sure. Doesn't uh, it's not a natural color for a uh, rooster. I noticed it was originally sold by. Oh, here's a pack of chat. International Angler. Back in the day, can't tell you when, but it was $20 for the saddle. You don't get a $20 saddle anymore. So it's been a while. So strip off a little piece of the stem there. And with the shiny side facing up you want the concave side facing down lay your stem right up behind the eye and give it a couple wraps and now you're going to start with wrapping backwards you want everything to flow back so you want the feathers to naturally point backwards and wrap them. You want two wraps to begin. One, let me get that on the other side of the thread there. Oh, nice to get that a little better in there. Let's start that over again. You gotta tie it in. Now if that happened you can actually bend that back over. Tie it in. Cut away the stem now. You don't need that no more. Now you're going to tie or wrap it. Everything flowing backwards. One, two, 
I can stroke them out with my finger a little bit there. Now start wrapping backwards. Try to do uh, even spaces if you can. Making sure that all the feathers are flowing backwards. And all the way back to the rear. And uh, let's see, do I need one more? No, that's enough. Take your monofilament and kind of wrap back up through now. You want to rotate your monofilament up through the feathers. Your counting wrap, kind of wrapping the opposite way you wrapped your hackle. That way you capture everything. And by moving it back and forth, you minimize trapping anything. You get to the front. We've got one more here. Go ahead, tie it off. What I like to do is wrap it around the thread one time, two times, and give it a couple good ties in here. And go ahead and cut away the monofilament. Give it a few more wraps. And there you go. Cut away the little tail section here. Now using big thread like this is kind of hard not to make a big bulky uh, thread wraps behind the head. If you want you can add some dubbing air or you can actually just leave it the way it is which I kind of like. Build it up a little bit. Give it a whip finish. You can use smaller thread if you want, but I like the uh, this 210. It can be command handle it all I want. Don't have to worry about it. Cut it away. Take your Brush, brush it out a little bit. And there you go. Little Sally Hansons to finish it off. You can use any head cement you want. And there you go. You got yourself a small mouth juvenile small small mouth fly. How many times have you caught a small mouth? And next thing you know you got big ones chasing it. So we're gonna cut out the middle man. And first you're gonna toss them a small mouth and let them chase it. Alright, hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me a comment. And like I said, this is a lot of the materials that I found at an estate sale. I was going through cleaning up, organizing everything and found that a lot of these nice uh, darker olive greens match. And here you go. I hope you like it. See you next time. Stay tuned for more.